What's up, everybody? It's Snack Pack, and we're back for lesson two of flying helicopters, uh, just the basics of helicopters in Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'm in VR today in the Bell 407, and we're starting off in Epcot here uh, down in uh, down in Florida at Walt Disney World. So we got the big ball there. It just looks wonderful. So what we're going to do today is a takeoff, and then we're just going to fly around. We're going to maintain, talk about maintaining altitude and airspeed, and then we'll come in for a landing. All right. So I figured out that this helicopter likes to hover at around 45% torque, all right? Here's my torque gauge right here, and you can see right now it says 22, but we're on the ground, we're not doing anything. If I pull in collective, that torque gauge goes up. And if I drop collective, that torque gauge goes down. So I'm gonna need 45% torque to hover, but I'm gonna need more than that to do a standard takeoff, all right? So as soon as I come off the ground, I'm just gonna pull in a little more collective after that passive, like just a couple more inches of collective, and that should get me somewhere around 10 to 15% above hover torque. So I'll be looking at about 55 to 60. You're gonna see that this torque gauge is gonna fluctuate uh, based on our flight profile by a few percent on either side, all right? Now also, I know I'm gonna need a little left pedal to compensate for the torque effect, and I definitely want a little bit of forward cyclic to get me going forward, start building airspeed, pitch down a little bit for airspeed. And then I probably need a little left cyclic to compensate for uh, translating tendency, right? So here we go, we're gonna do a constant angle takeoff from the ground and our, we're gonna just climb right above the ball there. And you can see right here, you can see my tip path plane, the very tip of my rotor system. As long as that is above the top of the ball here, I should be clearing it with no problem and I'm not gonna crash into it. All right, so here we go. We're going to do a constant angle takeoff from the ground. I'm going to start pulling in torque, adding a little left pedal. I'm pretty much outside right now. A little forward cyclic. I'm going to continue pulling in power. And I just want to make sure my tip path plane stays above the ball. There it is. Let's look at my torque. Look at that. About 55% is what I needed. So about 10 to 15% above hover torque will get you what you need. Oh, man. Look at Epcot. So beautiful. Now I'm going to climb to about, uh, let's call it 500 feet. Well, let's climb up a little more now. Let's climb to about 700 feet. Now I have to maintain a little bit of left pedal to keep myself in trim. All right, so I'm looking at my trim ball. I'm going to turn a little bit to the left so we can see our instruments a little bit better. There we go. So as far as holding altitude and airspeed, there's a couple ways you can do this, right? If I just pull up on the collective, and then you really yank that sucker up, you feel the helicopter's vibrating, you can hear it at least. Now look at my vertical speed right now. Vertical speed, I'm climbing like a bat out of hell, right? Because I got a crap ton of torque in, so let me reduce that. I'll pretty much drop my collective all the way to the ground. And now we are descending very rapidly, all right? So what I really want to do is find a happy medium. I just want to maintain my vertical speed is zero. So my collective is going to be somewhere in the middle there. And for airspeed, airspeed's based off pitch. So now I'm using my now I'm using my attitude indicator to maintain my pitch, right? If I push down forward on the cyclic, you can see my pitch is decreasing and my airspeed is increasing. But if I pull back, now the center of my attitude indicator, the little orange dot about five degrees above the horizon. Now we're climbing, but now I'm losing airspeed. So it's always a trade-off, trading off altitude for airspeed and vice versa. Typically what we want to do is use pitch for airspeed and then power for our altitude. So I found that if I just hold my little dot in the middle of my attitude indicator, if I just kind of hold it a couple of degrees below the horizon, eventually it's going to get us to about 85 to 90 knots or so. And then I'll just hold my torque here at about 58 percent or so and that should maintain my current altitude at this pa and this temperature and this gross weight look at that right at about 500 feet i've got zero vertical speed and then my pitch is set just a couple degrees below the horizon it's getting me up to about 80 knots maybe i need a little bit more torque let's bring it up to about 60. there you go so we're about 80 knots So holding altitude and airspeed is one of the hardest things to do. And I'm totally inside right now just watching my instruments, right? Normally I would be outside, focused outside, because 
I'm flying VFR right now. All right, so let's find a cool place to land. Looks like I got a bunch of residential areas. If you talk to the older folks in Florida, they'll tell you this used to be all orange groves. Okay, I've got a big open field to my one o'clock, coming up to my 12 o'clock, and I'm gonna start initiating my approach now, all right, to like the center of this big field. So what I did is I dropped out collective. I'm gonna drop it all the way down, not all the way out, because I don't want to auto-rotate, but pretty much drop my collective all the way out. And then what's gonna happen is I need to pull in about my hover torque in order to be able to land. So I'm coming down, I'm on an approach, I'm on a constant glide slope here. I'm looking out the right for my rate of closure. And I'm gonna land just to the left of this little shrub here off the one o'clock. So I'm kind of just like shooting a laser beam from the ground up to me and riding that laser beam down. But I know I'm gonna gradually have to pull in more and more torque. As I pull in more and more torque, I'm gonna need more left pedal to keep the helicopter from yawing to the right. Pulling in more power, more power. I'm almost to hover torque now. Adding power, adding power. I'm just gonna cushion my landing. Now I'm in ground effect. And I'm just gonna gently set her down. All right, so a nice quick video for today. Just wanted to talk about how we do a constant angle takeoff, how we maintain altitude and airspeed, and then how to shoot uh, just a simple VMC approach to the ground. All right, we'll have a lot more coming out. Please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Snackpacks out.